Madam Prime Minister, distinguished colleagues, first of all, thank you for hosting this kind of meeting. This is actually the first ever meeting in this format. And I would say that this is a historic meeting for our countries as we stay united and we demonstrate a very strong unity and your nations and your people stand by the Ukrainian people in our fight for our independence and territorial integrity. Russian-led aggression is a threat not only to Ukraine. This is the threat for the global order and for every country, EU member state, NATO member state, and for the free world. So we succeeded in deterring Russian troops, and it's so important to succeed in the European Union to retain unity over an issue of sanctions. Sanctions could be lifted only in case if the means deal is to be fully implemented. Fully implemented means that President Putin is to pull back its forces Ukraine is to seal the border and Ukrainian government is to take over an entire control over Donetsk and Lugansk. On the Crimea issue, I truly commend and appreciate your strong stance in non-recognition of illegal annexation of Crimea. So we expect that the European Union is to roll over sanctions in case if Russia is not to implement the means deal fully and in full compliance with the clear language of the means deal. Uh, Ukraine is whiter than white in implementing Minsk and for today it's up to Russia whether they are ready to de-escalate the situation and to get out of Ukraine. I truly appreciate, distinguished Prime Minister, your support in uh, making Ukraine a robust and successful state. Uh, on the 1st of January, DCFTA is to be implemented. And uh, neither Russia nor another country has any kind of upper hand or veto right over the implementation plan for the DCFTA. We are ready for countermeasures of Russian Federation. Uh, we are absolutely disappointed with the way Russia conducted technical consultations. So we believe that Russia is more focused on political agenda in an entirely economic deal rather than on economic agenda. Once again, the deal will be implemented and Ukraine clearly says that Ukraine is to join the biggest European market, which is the EU market, and to make Ukrainian products more competitive uh, to get new markets and to make a win-win situation for both the EU member states and Ukraine. We truly appreciate technical support and humanitarian support of your governments and of your people. And we strongly believe that together in concerted action, staying united, we will make a success story for your countries and for Ukraine too. This is our joint future and our joint destiny in the EU.